all of these footprints on your own. Hello, girl. Hi, beautiful princess. She's a lovely girl. She's not a particularly big elephant either, but she doesn't look very young. And I can hear some rush, rustling just behind her, so I suspect that there's a couple of little ones tailing just off to the back. Hello, big girl, but now she's going to feed on a bush willow. Now, you often hear us talking about, no, I lie, you always hear us talking about bush willows, and that's because they're one of the most common tree components out here. We've got many, many different types of bush willows, and it is a favorite food of various animals. For instance, the elephants love to eat their leaves. They'll even strip the bark and push the tree over completely and then eat the roots. Senzo, look at this little one coming towards us. Oh my goodness, we're being charged. I'm very scared, everybody. I'm panicking. I don't know what to do in this situation. No, I'm just joking. This is a very cute little elephant and I, I suspect that it is the calf of the female we've just seen. And yes, of course you're acting big and brave now because mom is just standing off to the side, aren't you? Now it's, it's got a bit of cover. It's hiding behind that buffalo thorn and the little shrubs that go with it. And I'm not going to move because I wonder if this little fellow is not going to come up and investigate around the vehicle. And I would very much love if this little elephant would come over and say hello. We're we getting more and more. There's four elephants here now. We've got those ones over there, and then the little baby is somewhere over there. And then you can see something moving just off to the left. That's another elephant. So these must be the ghost elephants of Duma Dam that disappeared right before my eyes, but have reappeared on Central. And that's fine. I'm just happy that we've managed to get them. And just the tips of their trunks are wet. So they haven't had a mud bath just yet. Oh, that little elephant is coming. Look, look, it's coming. Look here, it's just behind, it's coming closer. Yes, little one, I can see you. Are you going to come and play? I will happily play with you, as long as you don't get me into trouble by mom. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. We can play all you like. Look at it, it is so funny. Just going closer towards this little sibling, just to make sure. But again, only acting big and brave and strong like this, look at it. Yes, just because it's got a lot of family support here. So if it does feel as though we get a bit rowdy and fight back or give it a fright, it is going to turn and tuck its tail and run away to one of its older siblings, probably trumpeting, making a loud noise. And then mom is going to come over to my car and say, what did you do to my little one? Right, should we go back central and I reverse for you? And then we watch them again come past us. Now I did see some more elephant tracks behind us, so I think this is the end of the herd. Hello, little one. Yes, I'm watching you. Oh, you're getting very brave. Now as we watch this little elephant try and act all big and strong, George, you're wondering why they're eating the bushes and not the grass. Again, that's a good question because most of the time, especially while there is grass around, and it does make up the bulk of an elephant's diet. Yes. No, no, but come out so we can see. I'm going to roll forward, Senzel. No, no, it's too scared. It's running away. I thought it was going to do... Maybe it's going to turn and come again. No, it's just behind the trees, as you can see. Um, so, so they will carry on eating grass, but it, it's not as sweet and delicious as what it was a couple of weeks ago. It's become quite yellow now. So they are going to start feeding on different things. And George, perhaps the grasses just don't have the nutrients in them uh, that uh, um, maybe some of the leaves have in them now. I'll we'll reposition again. We'll just keep doing this. We'll just keep reversing. Mom doesn't mind. This little one's having fun. I'm having fun. I'm going to go a little bit further back so we can watch it for longer. Look at it. It is a funny little character, this thing. It is so precious. And what will happen is over the next sort of month or two, we'll watch the grass completely disappear. It's going to become so short. And then we're going to see them pushing. <laughs> watch, watch, I'm going to go forward, stay like that. This one is practicing. I was just about to say they're going to start pushing over trees. 
And that's exactly what that elephant did. It was a little dead, probably a, a part of a bush willow, or maybe even a silver cluster leaf that the elephants had already taken down some time before. And perhaps the termites got hold of it too and hollowed it out. Because for an elephant that's probably not even quite six months old just yet, it pushed that little stump over very, very easily. And that's what a big elephant will do. Though They won't go and push over a dead tree. They'll rather push over one that's alive. Right, no, you're running back to mom, are we? Yes, little baby, you scared now. Now, Ian, you're wondering if that little elephant is most likely a young bull. To be honest, I haven't actually even had a chance to look at it. It, does, it looks very male-like, it's got quite a round head. So I would suspect that it is a little boy, but we'll confirm, we'll see if it's got little baby boy elephant bits. We'll see. Mm -hmm. No, don't go that way. Don't go further and further into the thicket, please, elephants. Pretty please with sugar on top or marulas on top because I suppose you like it. Oh, they're disappearing out of view now. I wonder where the rest of the herd is. They're still being watched though by that tiny little elephant. You can just see, there we go, just in the middle of the screen. They're watching. And as of course we get further away from this little elephant, it is going to lose interest in us. But we'll see how long we can keep a view of them. Now we're just watching mom's ear flap about. And she's not flapping it because she's angry with us. There's probably a lot of flies about, so she'll be using them to swat the insects. And then, of course, as most of you know, but just again for the new viewers, that's how they keep themselves cool. One of the very many ways that they keep themselves cool. And it would really, it would bring a big smile to my face if we could watch elephants cool themselves in a different manner by throwing mud all over their bodies. I'd really like to see that this afternoon. I think I'm going to try and go around, maybe go up in Yala Road North to see if the rest of the herd hasn't already crossed onto the road. However, Ali has got another herbivore and this one has also got big ears.